Hi, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and I have something super, super special to share with you today. Um, I just made a video where I encouraged anybody who is a new or first time zine maker to send me their zines um, so that I could give them all of the love and appreciation and enthusiasm that they were so deserving of. And somebody actually sent me their zine and I am so jazzed about it. And I have to show you guys. I'm so excited. I really think this is... And okay, okay, let me just, let me just show you before I lose my mind. Um, this little mini zine was emailed to me <laughs> by Rosie Newton. Uh, their studio name is Newt Studio, which is the cutest name ever. And oh my god, it's this little mini zine called Death to Blank Pages, issue number zero, a plan. And this mini zine is Rosie planning their upcoming zine series. Um, I'll show you the whole thing. I... Oh my god. And look at it, it says, with thanks to the zinesters of YouTube for their inspiration and guidance. <laughs> it's like, it's like when a fucking, it's like when uh, uh, Nintendo or whatever gives like the roll credits after you've played a video game and it says special thanks to, you know, the city of Vancouver and uh, blah 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 studios. And you. It's like, me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's just so cute. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a mini video for a mini zine, so I'll try to keep it quick. Uh, the zine goes, Death to Blank Pages. I'm going to start publishing a zine called Death to Blank Pages, and this mini zine is my plan. If you're wondering what a zine is, a non-commercial, often homemade publication usually devoted to specialized and unconventional subject matter. Excellent description. Each issue will explore a different art-related topic. Issue number one will be about overcoming art block. Other issues will cover art history and biographies, etc., with mini-zines small, on small topics and quick tutorials. The zine will have a sketchbook aesthetic. It will be A5 with 8 to 12 pages and sewn binding. The mini-zines will unfold to one sheet with Kill This Blank Page written on the back, just like this. Kill this blank page where you just absolutely doodle and draw and like go crazy on this blank page. I really love this phrase. It reminds me, um, back when I was in middle school, there was like this book, it was called Destroy This Book. And I never had it, but it was like a whole bunch of, okay, a whole bunch of people around my school had it. And they would like go up and uh, ask everybody around them to contribute a page or, you know, scribble on a page. And so the whole idea was that you would do just, you would completely demolish this book. You would tear it apart. You would like sandwich peanut butter in there. You would draw on it. You would scribble on it. You would rip the pages out. And the whole idea was like a big series of activities for how you could destroy this book. And it was meant to be like this really fun and um, expressive creative journaling exercise to get you over any sort of hump and just have fun. And that totally is what this feels like. That just not only this, I mean, first of all, this back of like kill this blank page. I totally love it. How that's how it feels like. Um, but just this whole, this whole ethos behind the scene of death to blank pages is totally like, yes, like fucking write something. It doesn't matter what it is. Just like literally anything is better than nothing. And I love how that is how Rosie titled their zine because yeah, that is like, that is, that is, what you want behind it. You want the very title to propel you forward. Oh my god, I am so excited about this. Um, that There goes my printer uh, mumbling because I just printed this on my... <laughs> printed the PDF on my home printer so that I can show you guys. Um, what The other thing that I really love about this mini zine, and what I think is just a tremendous idea, and it's sort of especially why I wanted to show this off, is because I think this is such a brilliant idea for anybody who wants to make zines, but is like feeling stuck or intimidated by the sort of blank page of the zine. Um, this is such a good way of getting over it, of like, make your very first zine and get it out of the way, uh, and make your first zine a plan for the other zines that you want to make. Like... Say, you know, if you've had some ideas, but you're just not quite sure how to pull them off, or you're not sure what to do with it, or like, you want something to learn on, then make your very first mini zine a little brainstorm zine. Make it a plan, make it a list of ideas, make it just something to like, you know, to break the ice, to, to, uh, 
to propel you forward. It's sort of like there's this writing, what is it? It's like, um, I mean, my grandma said this is like, she, she, in all of her journals and notebooks, she would go through and number all of the pages in order because in her mind, numbering the pages made it, uh, acceptable to write on them. In fact, you know what? I have this notebook right in front of me. This is a notebook that was hers and, uh, she sort of stopped using it. Uh, and then I, you know, after she died, I sort of took it over because it was mostly empty and I just felt like, you know, she would know, she would want, <laughs> she would want someone to write it. So anyway, here, um, she would want someone to write in it. Saturday, May 31st, 2003. This is my grandma's handwriting. Uh, let's see. Again, searching for a vehicle, a container, a journal to write in. I really prefer the small moleskin travel books <laughs> uh, as they invite jottings and the pages have lines and the paper is smooth. But I gave my two stockpiled copies to Jack and Avery for the Cancun, Mexico trip and taught Avery how to make an index. Those are my cousins, Jack and Avery. And so this one will just have to suffice. Number the pages. It gives permission to write on them. And so on each page, she went and wrote a number on them. And now I'm using this journal. Um, and in fact, I'm almost at the end here. Um, I've been using this journal just as like a random, uh, scribbly journal for tarot notes and stuff as I was learning how to read tarot on her, uh, tarot deck. <laughs> so anyway, I, I feel like that, that message, that ethos of like, just write something, anything on the pages to get it over with is so good it's so good and it's so motivating and so liberating. Uh, and I think it's just, it's so perfect for a mini zine. Like, like, Oh my God, I am so, I am so inspired by this. I really want to make my own little mini zine now. That's like a list of all of the zines that I want to make and sort of all the ideas that I have for them. Um, something about this particular zine that I think is really cute too, is just how, affirmative it is where it says I'm going to start publishing a zine called death to blank pages. And this mini zine is my plan. Like that's what it is. That's what I'm doing. It feels so confident and like assertive, like each issue will explore a different art related topic. Issue number one will be about overcoming art blocks. Something about the way that these sentences are so, um, simple, if that makes sense. Like it's very, it's, it's very, they're short, straightforward, strong sentences. <laughs> Other issues will cover art history and biographies. And, and like, uh, the zine will have a sketchbook aesthetic. That's what I want to do with it. It will be a five with eight to 12 pages and sewn binding. Like it, it's so yes, it will be because you're going to make it. And you, I, it, <laughs> I am so giddy over this. Like I'm losing, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, yeah. So I just, I really love the scene. I am so genuinely excited to see what issue number one is going to look like. And just to see more stuff from Rosie Newton. Um, they have a bunch of cool, super awesome anti-capitalist, uh, and like non-binary and genderqueer stickers and stuff in their studio. And, um, I believe that this is their first scene that they've ever made and that they want to continue. Obviously they, not only they want to, but they will continue by making additional issues. And this is just such a cute way to make it real, to put it on paper. It's like a, uh, uh, it's like a, uh, fuck, I'm completely forgetting the word now. Um, I literally have made it, made it, uh, vision board, vision board. That's, that, it's sort of like what that is, where it's like you're writing down your intentions and you're writing down your affirmations and like your, this is what I'm going to do. Um, like what I like about it is it doesn't need, it doesn't feel like goals. It doesn't feel like, oh, well here's, you know, like, I don't know. Does that make sense? It's not so, it's not so, uh, it's like the next step beyond a goal because you've already made something you've made the scene. And so it's like, it's not just a goal. It's like, it's elevated it from goal and idea and dream to official work in progress 
you know, the whole series of Deaths of Blank Pages because now you have a physical representation of it. You know, like you have you have it written down on paper and printed about like this is what I am working on, this is what I'm going to do. So it just feels so much more real. I just love it so much. I I really love this. <sighs> so let me uh, let me I guess let me just wrap it up here. Uh, if you are wanting to make a zine and you don't know how to start and you really want just like a very simple straightforward way to get your get your uh head into it with like a little more guidance than I gave you in my uh poignant just do it video <laughs> like this is actually a genuinely really incredible idea to Take whatever vague ideas that you have and like write them out and brainstorm and figure out, you know, what size do you want it to be? How many pages do you want it to be? And what topic do you want it to be? And just do that in the scene. You could even just literally follow the scene page for page as like a uh, template sort of thing. So like page one, what are you doing? I'm going to make a zine. Like what is, you know, do that. You could you could write what a zine is if you wanted to. You could use that for any any page. You could say what is the topic, or or you know what are the topics that you want to cover. What is the aesthetic going to be, and how big is it going to be? And that's all you need. And and yeah, use this to like use use zine making to organize your thoughts and to set intentions and. Um, really make make it real so thank you <laughs> thank you so so much rosie newton definitely absolutely check them out uh i'll obviously link it below there's this uh link tree they have an instagram they have a website and i'm sure that uh you will be seeing more of their zines on my channel as you know as they make zines and as i as i will inevitably have to share the follow-up to this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I am so, I'm so jazzed and I'm really feeling the zine love today. Hope that you are too. Have a great day. Bye.